Chase. I'm a junior from Westside High School. You're the mom! And I love you. <laughs> oh. I love you, Chase. Oh, thanks. <laughs> okay. December 20th, 1999. I was born 7 pounds, 11 ounces, and given a pink pair of baby socks to match my XX chromosomes as if gender is just that simple. And as a child, it always made perfect sense to me that boy babies get blue socks while girl babies get pink socks and that those colors can dictate someone's entire life. What toys they'll play with, what clothes they'll wear, what gender they'll fall in and out of love with again and again and again and again and again, but a piece of fabric cannot tell a story. I was nine years old when I first heard the word transgender. I was watching TV in my parents' room when an ad came across a screen about a girl living in a boy's body. When I asked my grandmother later that night what the word meant, she answered boldly as if the word was nothing to be ashamed of. It's when a boy feels more like a girl or a girl feels more like a boy. I smiled and nodded shyly. Thinking, thinking about it the entire way home, but when I got to the house in the refuge of my room, I burst into tears. Thinking that now that I had a word to define myself, I could fix it. Fix. At nine years old, I thought I needed to be fixed. When puberty came around, I, wore, I layered my shirts to hide my chest. I cut off all my hair in fifth grade and tried to fit in with the boys, but I could not understand why I wasn't like them. When I turned 13, I stopped trying to hide my chest and my hips. I wore makeup and dresses and female pronouns like a proud woman should, but I am not a proud woman. When I turned 15, I told myself I did not need to change. I did not need to hide myself or my body or my identity. I did not need to fix anything about myself. I was not who, ashamed of who I was. I did not need to fix my lack of jawline or my high voice. When your faucet is leaking, you don't buy a new house, you call a plumber. <laughs> when I was born, I was given a pink pair of socks to match the sex that my body assigned me. But throughout my life, growing, and learning, I decided somewhere along the way that pink just wasn't for me. That I like green. <laughs> I like orange. I like purple, red, white, maroon, plaid, tie-dye, rainbow. That a color cannot define me. That a, pair, that a pair of socks cannot and will not ever tell my story. And that I do not need to wear blue to be a man besides. No one ever sees the color of your socks anyway. 